Hey guys, JC6 here. Back at you with Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. So we're finally in the courtroom again. We're gonna face off against Prosecutor Gado. Let's see what what's my let's see what mine has to say. Hey Nick, what is it this time? Don't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door, why, why don't you know this, Nick? Having Detective Amy's trial today. Detective Amy? You're sure they're going to try him as mask to mask? Already? That was fast. But I'd love to see mask to mask trial. I know, by the way, where's Pearls? But she went back home. She said she can't neglect her train anymore. You know you don't like me. Pearls has really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that incident last year. Please, don't ignore me! Oh, Mr. Delight, good morning. No one likes me. No one, no one would notice me even if I killed someone. Well, your wife notices you, isn't that enough? Why don't you what? I'm just your lawyer, man. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a second. You know what I mean? You're the murderer? No, 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 no. No, I'm just a poor thief. No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't really be poor. Now, let's see. According to Mr. Delight, when second crime mod is following a bunch of set plans, plans that someone had been sent to him to help him commit the heist. You think there's a connection between the thief and the murderer, Nick? It's possible today's trial is a race against the clock. And how come? Let's just take our time like always. I'm afraid that's not an option. October 14, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court. Who is now in the session for the trial, Mr. Ron Delight? Defense is ready, Your Honor. You ready? Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Preparation... Preparation is the strategy of the strong. I think that's what should be said. Okay, so down, everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Gado. Uh, he's got the judge in his palm of his hands yet again. Young D Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war, that's all. I'm glad I have no idea what that means, <laughs> Mr. Cardo. I think you need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war, but that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. That's all my statement means, you understand now, right? Yes, well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. Yeah, the, the victim is Ken Bullitt, CEO of KB Security. Thought was found approximately safe at approximately was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. Now, how old was he when he died? By the time of death, it's estimated as 1 a.m. of the previous day. And that's when our little kid, lost kitten dropped the ball. That lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Well, well then, Mr. Gallo, please call your first witness. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during the trial. I mean, how much, how much caffeine is there? If, you, if, if each cup had 90 milligrams of caffeine, let's see, if, let me do the math here. That's 150, that's 150, that's 1,530, wait a second. Yeah, that's 1,530 milligrams of caffeine. 
I mean, drinks all of that caffeine. I mean, they said you never should go past 400 milligrams, but I guess that was just too badass for that. He drinks, he drinks three times that amount. No, he drinks over five, four times the safe amount of coffee that you're supposed supposed to be drinking. But the first one is always the best. Mr. Guy, your witness? Hey, I, you know, I read somewhere just this guy called Owner the Balzac who was drinking 50 cups of coffee. I don't think they were... They were like small cups. I think smaller than Gato's cup. But he was drinking 50 of those things to, with as little water as possible. Like, most of it was like... It was super... It was super... Thins liquid of coffee. So uh, the so he pretty much just put as little co water as possible into the coffee grounds, and he just drink it pretty much as dry as possible. With the coffee, the, only the Balzac. Okay, then let's see what defendant Mr. Ron Delight has to say for himself. Defendant. Mr. Wright, does the defense have any objections? It may be a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. She put a lot of trust in me back then. There are no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Hey, you've got guts, Trite. Alright then, Mr. Ron Delight, please take the stand. I mean, I heard... I mean, I heard... I heard 17 cups. I heard that like makes you more creative, like it speeds up the way, it speeds up your mind, makes you think a lot quicker. But I don't know who goes over the safe limit like this. Maybe that's why Gato has white hair, cause he drinks so much coffee, it just turns his hair white. Cause it stressed his body so much, his hair just turned white. You did, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Uh, no, 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 Th that's not true, huh, for a moment there, I thought we set the record for the shortest trial ever, hmm, well, Mr. Delight already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making, once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the nail last thing in his own coffin, oh, very well, uh, can you tell me something, if you didn't kill Buller, why did you go to the cave of security, oh, well, uh, that's kind of hard to say, boy, I wish I could go home, and yeah, my hot wife's waiting for me at home. I'm tired of always hanging around these police officers all day asking me questions. I need more women in my life. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. That evening around 1 a.m. I went to see Mr. Buller in his office at KB Security. Black male leather guy wanted me to go there. I've been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I know where his office was. When the exact time the murder took place. The weak get washed away by types of fate, the strong drink it up. I had bitter today too, just like my destiny. You never know that from the way he's chugging it down. So write your cross examination if you please. That evening around 1 a.m. I went to see Mr. Bullard and his officer KB Security. Black Malaria guy ordered me to go there. I've been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I know where his office was.
That evening around 1 a.m. I went to see Mr. Buller in his office. I mean we read this already. Okay, no, it's not this statement. Okay. Used to be a security chief of KB Security, right? That's just right. Security chief, you? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. We arranged for an old grudge of corporate motive for more than what you say. This isn't good to change the subject. Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well, the world is filled with those who have said, I wish I never asked that. Okay, then I take it. Then the police answer the question. Uh, well, I needed money. You needed money? Well, I need money too. Man, I got no job. I mean, I used to work at the car windshield repair place, but... I got fired from that job, so now I'm looking for trying to get. In. I mean, I met somebody. I met somebody who's in the same situation like me. Let's see. Um. Well, you see, Destiny Light loves the space. It's kind of a hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough. So I stole data from the company. Come again? KB Security has a lot of inf security info on all sorts of company. Since I was a security team chief, stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found that I was fired immediately. What? I wish I had never asked that. Was someone able to keep it a secret made it seem like I quit on my own? Mr. Nick, you don't look so good. Someone brings harm to your punch, punch company as far as punishment. You do what to remember that. He sure told you. So you admit that you're still there from your company, is that correct? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, no no need to apologize to the judge. King Bullet's already dead, so there's no one to apologize to. This is a very important fact. Please add to your testimony. This whole thing just took a big turn for the worst crash and blew up. It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this cage from the clutches of disaster. Why would you do something like that? But for Desi's happy, what else? Wasting money, huh? It's not a waste. So Mr. Delight doesn't know that her husband's fired, does she? Yeah, we could. Yeah, all the bags she buys, we could always just sell them on eBay and make twice the money back. I tried doing that before, selling stuff on eBay, and it was hard as heck. I mean, nobody, no one buys anything. Because there's too much other choices. I mean, I put it up there and no one. Some used DVDs, no one. Huh. It's always seen. I want about couples to keep secrets like that from each other. Can't believe it. This case is kind of about my thing seriously about couples. Yeah, it's, she she always thinks about burgers. Now she's thinking about couples. Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. Man, there wasn't much this testimony was there.
And that was it. Okay, I'm gonna have to just look this up. Okay, I'll stop it right here. Take care, everybody. I will see you guys next time.